Hi everyone, I'm Fireman Jeff. This is my helper, uh, Evan. Today we're going to talk to you about what firefighters do. Uh, it's Fire Prevention Week and we're going to give you a presentation on all our stuff here. So firefighters have lots and lots of equipment. We carry them on our big trucks like the one you see behind me. Um, sometimes we have to carry uh, big things like this. This is an axe. Sometimes we need to chop things up. So this is a firefighter's axe. Sometimes we have to go to calls in the dark. So we have these really bright flashlights, okay? Sometimes when we go into people's houses at night, it's really dark. Sometimes it's really smoky. So we have these really powerful flashlights so we can see in the dark. Sometimes we have to put out small fires, okay? So we carry fire extinguishers on the fire truck, okay? It's just like the fire extinguishers that you have at your home, okay? These are just a little bit bigger. And all that's inside of these is water. So it works the same way. We have to aim it at a fire, and we have to squeeze the handle. My assistant Evan's gonna help me here. Just like that. So we have fire extinguishers just like you have in your own home. One of the most important things that we have to talk about is smoke detectors, okay? Sometimes smoke detectors go off for false alarms, but you never know when it's a real fire and when it's a false fire, okay? So whenever this goes off, what do we have to do, Evan? We have to we leave the house. We have to leave the house, right? And then call 911. And then call 911. So you should always have a gathering place outside our house, whether it's near a car or a tree or a mailbox. But we always have to make sure that we exit together. Do we go back inside to get our pet fish? No. Do we go back inside to get our favorite stuffed animal? Dude. No, that's right. We always can replace that stuff. We won't, can't replace you though, correct? Yep. Okay, so when this goes off, what do we do? We leave the house. Good, okay, so we're gonna make sure everyone knows what a smoke detector sounds like. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so if you ever hear this going off, you make sure that you get an adult and then you exit the house. You don't go back inside until an adult or the firefighters say it's okay. So firefighters have to wear lots of protective gear, whether it's winter or summer. We wear all this stuff to make sure that we're protected from heat and smoke and fire, okay? It's really heavy, it's really big, but it's to make sure that we're protected when we go to calls, okay? Sometimes it can look kind of scary. And if you're a kid and you've never seen this before, you can be scared away from us. But the idea is we don't want you to be scared away. If you're scared of us, we want you to come towards us. Right, Evan? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put on my big boots. Okay. And I gotta pull up my pants. Just like you put on pants at home. And I got my suspenders. Why do I wear suspenders? It's so it doesn't fall off. All right, so my pants don't fall off. Okay. I have to put on my radio so I can talk to other firefighters and tell them what's going on and tell them where I am. I have a hood that's gonna go over my head in a minute, but I have to put that on first. It goes around my neck and it protects my neck from heat and fire, okay? I have a big, big heavy coat. It's like a winter coat that you wear during, you know, wearing the snow. And it's really heavy, right? Yep. How heavy is it? Okay, come back, I need you. <laughs> I buckle it up. You just have to remember that under all this stuff, it's still Firefighter Jeff. Right? Even though I'm starting to look a little different, I got these big pants and big boots and big coat, right? Then, I put my big backpack on, which is full of air, because smoke is really hard to breathe, okay? So this backpack is full of air. I'm gonna put it on my back, just like you put on your backpack for school. This is the thing where it kind of gets a little weird because when I start to put this on, now you're not going to start to recognize me, right? Yeah. Okay? So when I get to ready to put this on, a lot of people say that when I put this on, you look like a pig. So I'm going to put on my mask. And you got to remember that when I put on this mask, who's under here? Yeah. Right? Firefighter Jeff is still under here. Don't be scared of me. So put on my mask. And now I sound a little funny, right? You can't really understand me. And if you were scared or frightened and you saw me coming at you, would you be scared? No. Nope. Well, some people might. Yeah. And when I start to breathe through this, who am I going to sound like? 
Darth Vader. Darth Vader, right. I'm gonna put this on. Evan, I am your father. Right? Yeah. But the idea is, is that I'm still firefighter death under here, right? You can't be scared of me. So I'm gonna put on my hood. And now you really can't recognize me anymore, right? Yeah. And I put on my helmet. Finally, I put on my gloves. Right, gotta protect my hands. And when I come into a house, I'm usually crawling. And I don't want you to run away from me. What do I want you to do? Come towards, come towards me, right? Yeah. I want to come help you. So I don't want you to hide. Don't hide under your bed. Don't hide in your closet. You gotta come towards me, okay? Even though I look pretty scary right now, underneath it, I am. Firefighter's Jack. That's right. I'm gonna take my hood off. I'm gonna take my mask off. And it's still just Firefighter Jack. Yep. Okay? So the idea is you don't wanna be scared of the firefighters. You have to remember that under all of this crazy stuff, it's still just the firefighters coming to help you. Okay? So don't run away from them, don't hide from them, don't be scared of them. I'm gonna help you. Okay?